First question is from Kirsten Watson. Go ahead. Hey, Will. First, just wanted to get your thoughts from Julio going five innings today. What were your takeaways from him? Yeah, uh, he got to a really good start the first few innings. And then, you know, their hitters made an adjustment. Uh, we left a couple balls up on the plate that, you know, we needed to put guys away with two strikes. Um, you know, they, they put, what, three across on them. Um, and we easily, not easily, but, you know, if we execute a couple more pitches, that's probably some zeros and he goes a little deep in the game. But, you know, that's, that's baseball. And he, you know, he got his five good innings. And last night you all went extra innings coming off of a series that was both emotionally, physically tolling. Now tonight going extra innings. How does that impact the offense if it does? Uh, I, I don't think it does, honestly. Um, you know, we're all up there competing every at bat. Uh, you know, you don't really see guys throwing at bats away. Everyone's, you know, putting together good at bats. Um, you know, it's just as an offense, we got to do better with, you know, men on base in those situations and uh, push some more runs across. Thanks, Will. Next question is from Brooks Smith. Go ahead, Brooks. Will, if you uh, look at some of your um, just peripheral numbers, I mean, you're hitting the ball harder than almost everybody in the league. Um, obviously, the balls aren't always <clears throat> finding a hole. And that's something kind of dates back to the start of last season as well. How do you as a hitter kind of just break through that um, – knowing that you're hitting the ball that hard and just kind of getting unlucky with it. Yeah. I mean, I, you just keep going at bat to at bat. Um, you know, I haven't really felt great all year at the plate and to, you know, be able to still walk, uh, still swing at the right pitches um, and move the ball. You know, that's just, I just feel like I'm in a compete mode all year um, and really haven't, you know, locked it in. I felt really good in spring and, you know, it kind of, kind of went away a little bit but but yeah I mean that's that's what I try to do it there I just try to hit the ball hard consistently swing at the right pitches and uh you know the rest will take care of itself and you know I can control what I can control then with uh Julio I know one of the things that Doc has talked about over the last year is um wanting to see him constantly attack the zone and go right after hitters is that something you feel like he's doing a lot better this year I do yeah um you know I constantly felt like tonight we were O one, one one, oh one two, oh two. Um and he was getting ahead of guys. Um and yeah, he's done that all year and every start, you know, he hasn't he's been he's been really good for us this year. And uh, you know, that's that's helped us. He's kept us in a ball game tonight that they got away from us, but but yeah, I mean he's been he's been looking good this year. Thanks, Will. Next question is from Juan Toribio. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, well, you, you guys have left 28 guys on base um, in the last two games. Does it just kind of feel like the, the big hit is kind of eluding you guys right now? Uh, I mean, yes and no. Um, you know, there's been situations, you know, going back to Seattle where we, you know, hit, hit line drives that are caught. They make, you know, good plays um, in those situations. But, but, yeah, I mean, there's definitely been times where, you know, we have a strikeout with bases loaded less than two outs or a double play or, you know, it's just one time we hit away from breaking it open. And, you know, this we're a good offense. You know, we're going to go through through games or series like this where, you know, we just can't can't get it all together. But, you know, tomorrow's a new day and, you know, hopefully break that break that open tomorrow. Thanks, Will.